Hi guys, my name is Melissa De Leon. I am a Europe tutor and today I will be talking to you guys about five skills that I possess and how I apply them to my work and school and then three skills that I would like to have to be able to apply them to my future career. So let's get started. So one of the skills that I currently possess is being organized. So I apply this skill the same way that I do for my work and my school. I like to write everything down from due dates to exam dates to meetings, um, just basically anything that has to be turned in at a certain date or at a certain time, I like to write everything down just so that I don't forget to do something or that I don't turn anything late and that I get done anything that needs to get done. Um, another skill that I possess is teamwork. So this one comes in very handy, especially at school um, because we get a lot of group assignments. So... I apply this by being very open-minded and being open to hear, hearing other people's ideas on what we should do or what we should do um, if they need help with the part that they got assigned. I'm more than like um, happily to help them out even though it's not what I got assigned but if they need help then I'll go ahead and help them out. And then same thing with work if we have to do let's say like a posture as a team as a group or um, just anything as a team. Um, I'm open to hearing everyone's ideas on what we should do, how we should do it, or just helping another person out. Another skill that I have is being empathetic. So for school, I apply this when, like, let's say we have a group project and one person can't do their part because of a family emergency or something came up last minute. Um, it's easy for me to put myself in their shoes and being able to help them out with that. Um, same thing with work if someone has to miss work um, or they ask me to come in for them because of a family emergency or whatnot um, It's easy for me to put myself in their shoes and help them out as well in that aspect Another skill that I have is adaptability. So I recently discovered this about myself um, With the whole um, school transitioning from in class to being online and also for work um, so it's been very easy for me to adapt to new changes. I know what's going on now. I know what I have to do, how I have to do it now with like the whole online thing. And then for work, um, same thing. Work was in person, now it's online. It was easy for me to adapt to that process. Um, another way that adaptability comes in handy for work is let's say they implement a new rule or we have to do something new now as part of, of our job. It's easy for me to adapt to that and just start going with that instantly. And then finally, another skill that I have is being bilingual. So especially here li living in the borderland, um, a lot of people speak English or others just speak Spanish. And this has been very handy to me, both at school and at work, to be able to communicate with everyone, whether they only speak English or they only speak Spanish. Um, I'm able to communicate with my professors, with my coworkers, with my um, um, teammates, group mates, um, so it's been very helpful. And then as for my three future skills that I would like to accomplish or have for my future career, one of them is time management. So I'm really going to have to have that skill because I am going to be working in a medical setting. So time management will be crucial. I'm going to have to know when I have to turn in patient's charts or when I'm going to have to, how much time I have to I have available to see each patient and then also outside of work um, make sure that I get everything done that needs to get done at home um, if I need to turn in some papers to another doctor by a certain day or a certain time um, I'm gonna have to be really good at that and then another one is creativity so I really like creativity and I feel like that can be crucial in my work because I'm not just I'm gonna be working with people of all ages with babies with toddlers with teenagers, with elderly people. So I feel like I am gonna need to be creative when making their treatment plans um, so that they could be um, to the level of their understanding. And then finally, decision-making. So I'm actually a very indecisive person, but when working in a medical setting, sometimes I'm gonna have to make decisions right on the spot. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not going to be able to be going back and forth between um, things. I'm going to have to make a decision right there and then just from what I know from my knowledge um, and not be indecisive. So those are the skills and the future skills that I would like to possess.
in the future. Thank you.